Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Seth Allen Gordon and Erica Jean Kniff in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee, and in his sacrificial love, gave us the example for the love of husband and wife. Erica and Seth come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. But as you enter into this covenant today, I want you to remember that you do not do that alone. You don't do it alone, because you're doing it in God's grace, and by God's love, and providential care. And you're doing it with the love and support of family and friends who share in the joy that both of you are feeling right now. And as someone who has known both of you for as long as I have, it is a privilege and an honor to have what amounts to a front row seat to witness this momentous day. So I ask you now, in the presence of God and these people, to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of Jesus Christ, who calls you into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptism. My knees are shaking. And then came the first day that you drove two and a half hours to me. You barely knew me and you already dropped everything to give me all of your attention. I remember telling my mom how you took my breath away when you stepped out of that pickup truck. <laughs> and how we spent hours talking that whole evening, even during the concert we went to with my friends. I honestly only remember Kit Moore singing one song, and the rest of the time I was lost in another conversation with you. Shocker coming from the two of us dad adults. Steph, I promise to always look at you the way I looked at you then. You are everything I have asked God to bless me with for life. You are honest, handsome, a true gentleman, a humble Christian, and my very best friend. But one of my favorite things is that you share so many of the same qualities as my dad. You are by far not only my better half, but I believe you were especially made for me. So after nearly four years of driving back and forth to one another every weekend, I am beyond ready to wake up every single day next to you, feeling my heart as full as it felt this morning. When I opened my eyes and knew today was the start of our lives together, you as my husband and me as your wife. I vow to you, my dear Steffi, that I will always respect you, encourage you, and be your greatest fan. I will never let the excitement of coming home to you fade away. You will always have my whole heart. I will be your shoulder through all the challenges that life throws our way. And I will always try to make you smile. There is still part of me that cannot believe that I'm the one that's lucky enough to marry you. I cannot wait to cherish every moment of growing old with you. You are the love of my life, and I know that a love like ours will only find us one. Erica Jean, my best friend the love of my life. Here before God and all of our family and friends, I take you to be my wife, the one I will love unconditionally, as you are and as who you have yet to become, until the end of time. For so long, it seemed as if I was a rock stuck in the ground when it came to relationships. And at the perfect time, you came along and you moved me. You've brought so much gladness into my heart, and you've filled my life with so much color and sound. I become a better man every day because of you. It warms my soul to know that we've taken the two separate 
very blessed stories of our lives and have combined them into one book. I can't wait to start writing these new chapters with you. I promise to always be your confidant, to encourage you, to admire the beautiful soul that you are and the way you hold yourself together. And during the times when you just can't, I promise to be the one that will. I promise to always dance with you, even when my bones are too old to be moving that way, or my moves may just be a tad bit too embarrassing. <laughs> to, cry, to cry with you, to forgive you as Christ taught us to forgive. I will always be willing to learn from you and to learn with you. I don't just want to grow old together. I want to truly grow together as a whole. Together we will build a home full of learning, laughter, patience, and compassion. A home where love will always abound and countless memories will be made. Learning from our Lord Jesus Christ, who has made all things new again, I will always try to keep you on your toes. Eric Jean. Finally, I promise to simply love you, to respect you, share my faith with you, and trust in you, give you all of me, the best of me, and walk hand in hand with you down the road ahead, wherever it may lead, rain or shine. Thank <laughs> you.